my name is Harold from Yellow Crane Tai Chi and in this new series of videos we're going to be showing you the Bad Wan Jin. The Bad Wan Jin, or the eight pieces of brocade, is a Qigong set made up of eight exercises that are repeated eight times. In each video we'll be looking at one exercise at a time done at various levels so that we have it from a basic seated position to a slightly more advanced standing position. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the first move, press the heavens. To begin with, we're going to do the most basic one in a seated position. This is because it's the simplest move to do and requires the least amount of flexibility or body mobility. You can do any of the exercises in either the seated or the standing position. It's really up to you and how you feel about the exercises. Don't be doing anything that pushes you or causes you any pain. So always remember to monitor yourself and do the exercise that seems most appropriate for the level that you're at. To do press the heaven, it's best to do it with your feet slightly narrower than hip width. This means that you're stretching your body vertically from your feet upwards. Always remember when you're sitting that your hips need to be higher than your knees when you're doing these exercises as well. So if you're doing it on a sofa, put some cushions underneath you and behind your back so that your back can remain straight and your head can remain up. To start the exercise, we're going to bring our hands together and set them on our lap. We want to make sure that our left hand is on the outside and our thumbs are touching, like this. To begin the exercise, we're going to breathe in and raise our hands up until they're at shoulder height, like we're hugging someone. Breathing in. Breathing in. It's important to remember to rotate from the shoulders and don't lift with them. So I'm bringing my arms up like this. Not like this. So after breathing in and bringing our hands up, we separate them out and bring them down to our sides like we're a bird flapping its wings. So breathing in. Breathing out, open the hands out so they're pointing into the corners and then bring them down like a bird's flap. Breathing in. Breathe out, separate the hands out and bring them down by your sides. Breathing in. Breathing out. Since the Bad Wan Jin is traditionally done with eight repetitions of each of the exercises, we need to learn how to connect the moves so we can actually do a sequence of eight. So instead of bringing our hands down by our sides, we're going to bring our hands back together again and hold them like we did when we started. But this time we're going to have the right hand on the outside and the left hand on the inside. Like this. Starting with the left hand on the outside, breathing in, bring the hands up. Breathing out, open out and flap. But bring them back together again so the right hand is on the outside and they're sitting slightly in front of your belly. Breathing in again, bring the hands up, open out, and hold the hands together. Breathing in, hands come up, breathing out, separate, and flap the wings. Bring your hands together slightly above your lap, right hand on the outside, breathe in. Separate the hands 
and flap down. Breathing in, breathing out, separating the hands. Bring the hands together over the lap, right hand on the outside. Breathe in again. And breathe out. To do press the heavens in the standing position, we need to be in a narrow stance, i.e. our feet are narrower than our normal shoulder width. So you want to bring your feet together as close as possible without any discomfort. You also want to relax the joints in your legs, your hips, your knees and your feet. So it feels like you're actually sitting down a little bit. So the first thing we do differently in this variation of the exercise is change how we bring our hands together. So we want to bring our hands together so our thumbs are clutching each other. So I'm going to take my left hand and put my right hand in it like this. So when I drop my left fingers over my right knuckles, I end up with a kind of little bird thing. So we take this hand position and hold it just in front of our belly button. Nice and relaxed and round in the arms. So just like the first example, we're going to breathe in and bring our hands up to shoulder height like we're hugging someone. But in this one, we're going to continue bringing our hands up. They want to end up so that your hands are directly in your line of sight. So now on a single in-breath. Breathing in, bring up the hands to eyebrow level. From here, I'm going to turn my hands over by rotating in my forearms, like this. So from here, I breathe out and flap my arms down like a bird. Interlacing my hands, this time with the right hand on the outside. Breathing out. So now the full move with the breathing, breathing in, up the eye height, turn the hands over, breathe out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, and out. Of course you can do this variation in the seated position. The only real difference between this and the seated one is the twisting of the hands. This is the reason why we put our hands together and clasp them. What this does is this puts a little bit of a stretch into our forearm and opens up the spleen channel along the side of the pinky finger. In variation two, it felt like we were shaking our own hands. In this version, what we're going to do is we're going to hold our own hands. So we're going to interlace our hands like we're holding our own hand. When we bring our hands together, make sure that the left forefinger is on top and the right pinky finger is on the bottom. Much like the other exercises, we're going to change these around between each one. So odd ones, left finger on top, even ones, right finger on top. So again, stand with our feet together, ankles, knees and hips bent. Bring the hands together. Make sure that your left forefinger is on top. Press your thumbs together. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands up, but make them go through a little arc. 
So whenever I breathe in, my hands come up to just in front of my throat. Breathing in. Breathing in. So from here, I'm going to turn my forearms over so it feels like I'm pouring a drink down the front of my body. Pouring a drink. Here I'm going to breathe out and push my hands forward so it feels like I'm doing the hug again, but this time with my knuckles on the inside. It's important that your arms aren't overextended in front of you. Your arms should be roughly in the same place as they would be if you were doing the hug. So if I bring my hands up to the hugging position and then turn them over, this should be where my stretch goes to and no further. From here, I continue bringing my hands up by turning in the shoulder like this. This is why it's important not to over push your hands forward from the shoulders because you're rotating them up that might mean the shoulders lift up as you're doing this and you'll lose the important part of the exercise so instead of doing this which is no use to moving your rotator cuffs it's important that you keep your shoulders down as you raise your hands up now if you're able to get this stretch so that your hands go higher than your eye line what you want to do is keep your eyes on the back of your hands and let your head tilt back with the movement. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, as my eyes go past my hands, I let my eyes follow the back of my hands and I finish the exercise off with the flapping arms back down to my side and letting my head return back to looking at eye level. Breathing in, bring the hands up to throat height, let them flop over, breathing out, push out. Rotate from the shoulders as your hands come past your eye line, let your head rotate back, breathe out. Everything comes back to the start again. So breathing in, out. In, out. So now we come to the final version with all the bells and whistles and all the stretches included in the exercise. So we start off in exactly the same position as version number three. Except on this occasion, when we breathe in, we bring our hands up straight in our body. There's no curving or swinging out. So when I breathe in, I bring my hands up like this. Breathing in, bringing up the hands. Breathing in, raising the hands. To do this properly, it's important to keep your elbows forward and don't split your back. So whenever I'm raising my hands up, I want to make sure that my forearms make a straight line from elbow to elbow. So when I bring my hands up, I bring them up like this, not like this. Keeping the forearms straight, not straight. Straight. Not straight. 
One of the reasons we interlace our fingers is to give us a signal when they're straight or not. When they're straight, you won't feel any tugging. When they're off, it'll be very clear in your fingers, you'll feel pressure on one side. So when my forearms are parallel with my diaphragm, this is when I do the pouring over of the glass. So my hands turn over like this. From here, I'm going to extend my arms and rotate on the shoulder at the same time to bring my hands up above my head. So this is all together in one movement. So the swing comes out like this. So this is the point in the exercise where we get to the gong of Qi Gong. Gong literally means effort. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little internal squeeze at the end of this motion to get the maximum stretch we can out of the exercise. So at the peak of the exercise, we're going to do the stretches. So I bring my hands up. So I've got to the maximum point of my external stretch. At this point, I'm going to stretch three things. First thing is the small of my back. By sitting down a little bit, I'm kind of doing a cat stretch. So my bum goes down and I push into the small of my back. Along with the back stretch, I'm going to straighten my head up. But instead of just letting it flop, I want to feel like my head's being pulled up by the hair on the back of my head. So I stretch my lower back. And straighten my head up. Make sure you're not just dropping your head because if you do that it can actually block off your airways. So like this you can clearly hear this means I can't breathe properly. So along with the sitting down and the straightening of the head we also take our arms and do a little twisting action like we're putting in two light bulbs which brings our hands up a little bit further so that we get a really big stretch from the heels of our feet through to the heels of our hands. So after the final stretch, we let the hands go and bring the hands down in the waving action and make sure our hands change over for the next repetition. As the Bad Wan Jin is made up of eight repetitions of eight exercises, I'm going to do eight repetitions of Pressing Heavens. Two each of the four variations, all in the standing position. Of course, you can do all of these versions in the sitting position as long as you're comfortable doing them. Relaxing the legs, sitting down, bring the hands together, left hand on the outside. Breathe in, bring the hands up to shoulder height. Breathe out. Flap like a bird. Bring your hands together, right hand on the outside. Breathe in. Breathe out. And I clasp the hand, left hand on the outside. Breathe in. The eyebrow height, turn the hands over. Breathe out. Right hand on the outside. Breathe in. Up the eyebrow height, turn the hands over, breathe out. And do this the fingers, left finger on top, breathe in. Pour the drink down the bottom of your body, breathe out and push. Breathe in, bringing the hands up, lifting your gaze for a moment, breathe out. Cross the hands, right finger on top, breathe in. And out. Rotate the arms up. Follow with your eyes. Breathe out. Straighten your head up. Last version. Breathe in. Straight up the body. Turn the hands over. All in one breath. Coming up. Passing the eyes. Stretching. Breathing out. Lock the fingers. Right finger on the outside. 
bring the hands up straight, turn over, stretch up, put the last bit in, and bring the hands down. If you've enjoyed this video and find the information useful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We have other videos on Tai Chi and Qigong. I've been Harold from Yellow Crane Tai Chi and thanks for watching.